was asked by several different people how I grow my, this is the long hair grass that I bought. I bought the seeds off of Amazon. That's the long hair grass. And in this little container, you can see right here, that's the tiny leaf grass and it's starting to grow. And tonight I want to um, do the dwarf hair grass and I'm gonna show you my process. So um, give me just a second, I'm gonna pause it and I'll be right back. All right, I realized I missed half of the video. So anyway, um, you're just gonna dip this uh, pot into your planting uh, substrate and I fill it up to about that line right there. I take this little spreading knife here and I just take a few of the seeds out of there with it. It's kind of tricky sometimes. You can use a little spoon too but then you just sprinkle those over the top not with their sand on it, but onto the soil. And then you take some of your wet sand and you just fill that up the rest of the way like that. And if you haven't washed your sand, you're definitely gonna want to, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of dirt and, and sediment coming up into your water and that you don't want to do even though we are starting these outside of the um, aquarium and i have a couple different setups here this setup is from my husband's aquaponics uh, growing system and he's got all of his uh, pepper plants started so i kind of grabbed this and i put some aquarium water in the bottom and then i have a squirt bottle with aquarium water in it and then I just keep moistening them a couple times a day just to keep it all wet and uh, this is actually the bottom of a pop bottle I'm not sure uh, how it's going to work I think I cut them too too low so I cut them off and let me do this one I'll show you this one because the the roots are a lot easier to see on that. Let me get it against here. Yeah, maybe not. I'll put a picture on the video. Um, I don't think it's deep enough. I don't think the sand covering is going to hold down the soil when I put it in. But we'll see. It was an uh, experiment. Um, the other thing you could use if you don't have a husband with a handy hydroponics tray is one of these cupcake trays and these are going to work great you're going to take your moistened pot right there see how it fits nicely in there and when I change water in my aquarium I like to keep some of the water hold it back so that I can just put a little bit in the bottom of these and uh, the pot will absorb that water especially since I haven't had it in water so it's all right to use a little extra but then you can close it and now you have a greenhouse set up and then you just take this little greenhouse you set it over on your heating pad and I just happen to have this old uh, light from a five gallon and I just set it on top so that it gets the lighting. And then as soon as it starts um, sprouting, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And I put water in it. And you see there's a little bit of sand floating on top, but that's not a big deal. And I'm going to take this. And what I'll do is I will just take the whole pot and put it down into my aquarium sand and bury it down into the sand. And hopefully the fish won't pull it out that way and it will stay put. And if you notice that your plants are starting to look a uh, little um, melty, um, you can just take that pot out, 
restart your plants and then put it right back in. So I hope this helps. Oh, and also, I have these I really want to try out. They're uh, communion cups from church, and uh, my family has saved a few of them. I don't want to go around begging from strangers, hey, can I have your communion cup? But uh, anyway, I put some holes in it, and I think, let me do this. that the soil will stay in there. Yeah, there we go. The soil will stay in there. We won't have too much stuff falling out. So I can put some seeds and then top it with the sand and uh, we'll put it in here and get it going. Now, if you do have a hydroponics system, you just use the same. You can use the heating pad that comes with it or you can use just a regular old heating pad. Mine's all covered with dog hair. Yeah, that's what happens when you have huskies. But anyway, there you go. There is my not as quick tutorial as I hoped it would be, but there you go, and I hope this helps somebody. Is it the right way? Probably not, but it works for me. I also realized I forgot to show you the uh, hydroponics lid on there. And yes, you're going to want to have all of this built up on there. Um, I usually keep them closed for most of the day, so all the liquid stays inside of there. And uh, with the, heater, the heating pad underneath it, you're going to get a lot of more condensation in there. And again, I will just use my little um, aquarium light on there and give them some light to grow with. And um, let me pop this top off, hopefully really easy. And we'll go over here. And you can see that is my, what is that? The um, tiny leaf grass, that's what it is. And so you can see that they're starting to grow. And again, I don't think I capped it with enough sand. I think that uh, soil's gonna float up, but I want to keep an eye on this root system and I think you can see a little bit of it. The more roots that have that you have growing in there, the better it's going to be to hold that that uh, soil in there. And uh, these balls, they're fluval um, stratum and they actually are just little balls of soil. and. Um, this uh, bag was $15 and I've used it for about a year planting different plants in it so um, it's once you start growing your own aquarium of plants it's uh, pretty pretty inexpensive hobby to get into and um, once they start growing I do put them in aquarium water and keep it topped up until it gets pretty tall and I think this one is tall enough I think let's just walk over here I'm gonna pause it while I open my tank all right here we go I've got the lid open and we're just gonna put this right in here Man, I wish I hadn't left all of my recording equipment back at the the other building. Let's see, there we go. And of course, this is pretty easy because if you decide you don't like where the plant is, you can just move it. So let's go along here. And look at that. I think I wanted to uh, put it a little deeper into the gravel, but how cool is that? If you don't like where it's at, just move it. All right, so I just realized I forgot to tell you. When I made the holes in the sides of the little plastic communion cups, I mean, how cute are those gonna be to just tuck down into that soil with the plant growing out? And you won't even, or into your, your um, gravel. You won't even know they're there. You just tuck them in and they, they're going to just disappear. 
but uh, I just took a heating, uh, what is this, a soldering gun that has a wood burning tip on it and I, it's not turned on right now because, you know, me holding this with one hand because I don't have my tripod. But I just uh, tapped it and made some holes in it all around and I also made holes on the bottom. And you don't want to make them too big because like I said before, the uh, soil, you want to keep that aquarium soil in there. You don't want it falling out. So anyway, there you go. All right, look how cute is this? I have my little um, communion cups with the holes in them. And then I filled the lids of the pot bottles with aquarium water and I'm just setting them inside of there. How cute is that? Look at those seeds. And I'm hoping what's gonna happen with those and the holes is um, once it starts growing, the seeds will come out or the roots will come out and it will be easier for it to go into the substrate once you plant it into your aquarium. But this, I just figured this out. What a great idea to keep your uh, soil mo moist. So one more helpful hint. All right, so I thought I'd come back in and show you just how much uh, seed I used to put in here. And uh, I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there. And, you know, since this, this soil is the little ball, you're gonna have the uh, seeds falling down in between them. But don't be shy, get a good sprinkle of it in there. And then, like I said, you wanna cap it off with your wet sand and put a good amount over the top of it so it doesn't wash away. And then I use that little knife to kind of spread it out and make sure it gets uh, capped good so that that soil doesn't wash out. And then I'm going to put it over into this that has the aquarium water in the bottom and that'll absorb up and moisten the soil and I'll just close the lid it's just a little cupcake container keep it on the uh, uh, heating pad so it keeps everything warm and helps the germination process and of course I put this on and I have it on I plug this into my aquarium light timer so it goes off at night. And again, you're just gonna wanna check and make sure that that sand stays moist. So um, just come in with your bottled water, uh, squirt bottle with aquarium water in it and squirt it down a couple times a day just to make sure that the uh, aquarium, or that the sand stays moist. And then, like I said before, I keep uh, some of my aquarium water when I do water changes so that I can have... <sighs> Sorry, I feel like I'm doing a Blair Witch project here. Hope you're not too dizzy. But uh, so that I can have some water to keep uh, filling up the bottom so that the pots stay uh, wet and the um, soil stays moist. So there you go, another little helpful hint. All right, I just showed you that I planted it, and it was too far behind the tree. I wanted the um, the long-haired grass to come out, and it's supposed to grow about six inches tall. So it's got a little ways to go. And so since you're here, why don't we just take a look around? See, there's, there's that... Uh, that grass right there and I think that's gonna look great growing up through that java fern and so I'll just move it back and I just got some little rosy minnows today to help me with this tank um, the water was fine and the pH was just a little high so I was kind of worried about that and putting my fish for my established tank over, over there but man they're just loving this so far and so I have the same setup over on this side and then way behind my Mr. Happy Guy, I love this guy. 
I do have a cave set up so that when I put my Pleco over there, he'll have a place to hang out. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good night, whatever you're doing.